I'm Marie, uh, I'm the pensions correspondent for the iPaper, and we are breaking down some of the most important measures from Jeremy Hunt's budget for you as a consumer. From April the 6th, employee national insurance will be cut by another 2p from 10% to 8%. So this tax cut will come into play already the 6th of April this year. Uh, it will save the average consumer, an employee that earns 35,000 a year that is, £450 a year. And it comes on top of uh, the two percentage national insurance cuts that Hunt also uh, made um, at his autumn statement last year. That is for the consumer. Uh, it is also a measure that will uh, cost the government 10 billion to implement. We'll give new powers to the pensions regulator and financial conduct authority to ensure better value from defined contribution schemes by judging performance on overall returns, not cost. But I remain concerned that other markets such as Australia generate better returns for pension savers with more effective investment strategies and more investment in high quality domestic growth stocks. While this is something that at the face of it might seem like it will have an impact on the consumer, um, it isn't necessarily like that. What he really is saying here is that he wants pension funds to disclose where they are investing, so which assets they, assets they hold and in which countries they hold, they're holding their assets. What analysts and uh, economists are telling me is that a pension fund will anyway invest where the returns are highest. So given that their mandate uh, is to give higher returns to savers anyway, um, they will probably not invest more in, in the UK for, for this reason. To discourage non-smokers from taking up vaping, we're today confirming the introduction of an excise duty on vaping products from October 26 and publishing a consultation on its design. So this might sound a bit scary for some, uh, but um, I think one has to remember that, first of all, this is not going to come into fruition until 2026. Um, and as we know, there is serious doubt about who is going to be in, in power at that point. It might also be something to remember that Labour has not said anything uh, about this. I will introduce a brand new British ISA, which will allow an additional £5,000 annual investment for investments in UK equity with all the tax advantages of other ISAs. So, uh, first of all, an ISA uh, is an um, individual savings account that comes with a tax relief. Uh, and uh, currently, you are allowed to stock away um, 20000 uh, in an ISA. This new measure that uh, Hunt has come up with today allows you to, in addition to that, add another 5,000. So the biggest difference between the um, ISA accounts that we have at current and this domestic ISA account is that while you as a saver can invest in companies all over the world with this old one, you're now only allowed to invest in companies that are listed on the London Stock Exchange. That doesn't mean that you will only invest in British businesses because a lot of the companies that are listed on the London Stock Exchange are already multinational companies. But still, uh, what uh, some um, advisors and analysts have told me is that savers must be very aware that it's important to diversify your investments. So I think that is something to be aware of uh, as a saver.